Veterinary Animal Practices instructional video series. My name is Dr. Carlisle Rand and today we're going to be talking about how to do a physical exam on your horse. The first part of the physical exam we're going to discuss is how to take your horse's temperature. We recommend getting an inexpensive digital rectal thermometer from your pharmacy. It does not have to be an animal specific thermometer. You're going to let your horse know that you're next to his side, apply a small amount of lubrication, it can be KY jelly, Vaseline, or even spit. Lift up your horse's tail and insert the rectal thermometer into his rectum. Press the button to start it and wait for it to come up with the temperature. A normal horse's temperature should be between 99 and 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The next part of the physical exam is your horse's pulse. You can get your horse's pulse by either listening to their heart with a stethoscope if you have one, or you can feel their pulse. A normal horse's pulse is between 30 and 40 beats per minute when they're at rest. The best place to listen to your horse's heart is on the left side in the girth area right behind the elbow. In muscular breed horses such as quarter horses, you may have to shove the stethoscope up into their armpit a bit to best hear the heart. And you have a stethoscope. The best place to feel your horse's pulse is at their submandibular artery under their cheekbone, right where it ties into their lower jaw. You can kind of run your fingers over the jaw and you feel a bump, which is the artery. Apply gentle pressure in order to feel the pulse, and again, count for 15 seconds and multiply the number of pulses you feel. The next part of the horse's physical exam is their respiration rate. The easiest way to take their respiration rate is to watch the rise and fall of their abdominal wall as they breathe. At rest, a normal horse's respiration should be between 10 and 20 breaths per minute. Another part of the physical exam that you can easily do is looking at your horse's mucous membranes. Normally, horse's mucous membranes should be a light pink color and very moist. You check their mucous membranes by flipping up their upper lip and assessing the color, which should be light pink, the moisture, which should be very nice and slimy and moist, as well as the capillary refill time. To get the capillary refill time, Press with your thumb on the gum to blanch the area and then release and the pink color should return in less than two seconds. The final part of the physical exam that we're going to talk about is gastrointestinal sounds. You should listen to the GI sounds on both sides of your horse in both the upper and lower quadrants. You can listen either with a stethoscope or by placing your ear against your horse's abdomen. Normally, horses should have fairly active gastrointestinal sounds, so if you put your ear against their side, you should hear a regular gurgling or rumbling noise. If you listen for about 15 seconds and don't hear any noises, this can indicate that your horse has decreased gastrointestinal motility. So that wraps up how to do a simple physical exam on your horse. We recommend practicing at home when you're not stressed out in the case of an emergency so that you know how to do it and what your horse's normal vital parameters are. By being able to take your horse's vital signs and relay them to your veterinarian in the case of an emergency, we can better help you evaluate what exactly is going on with your horse.